WUSA 9 News at 11 starts right now with new details on that loud boom you may have heard today. Calls about a loud explosion started pouring in around 315 this afternoon across our region. WUSA 9 spent the hours since then tracking down what happened. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Delia Gonzalez. Right off the bat, I want to let you know this was not an explosion. It was a sonic boom and it was connected to a deadly plane crash in Southwest Virginia. So here are three things you need to know about how this went down. Sometime before three this afternoon, a Cessna entered restricted airspace over Washington, D.C. Now the plane took off from Elizabeth Municipal Airport in Tennessee with four people on board, a pilot and three passengers. That plane was headed for Long Island, New York. Shortly after it crossed into the restricted zone, the U.S. Department of Defense scrambled fighter jets to intercept that plane. Now, one of those jets was going supersonic, breaking the sound barrier and causing that loud boom. And this reaction from that dog, that couple playing the instruments, and we all heard that around 315. Now, according to NORAD, the jets intercepted the civilian aircraft at 320 and tried to get the pilot's attention, but reported the pilot was unresponsive. That plane ended up crashing in Southwest Virginia, going down in the George Washington National Forest around Augusta County in Stanton. Now, this video of the scene we just received around the crash site, it just came into our newsroom. WUSA 9 learned just an hour ago, crews have found the remnants of that plane. Unfortunately, there were no survivors. Now, we're still waiting on more details about who was on that plane at the time and what possibly could have gone wrong. Right now, though, let's bring in Rafael Sanchez Cruz. He is live tonight on Capitol Hill with the local impacts of these events. Rafa, I know a very changing story, fast moving, developing story, but certainly quite a scare earlier this afternoon. Without a doubt, Delia, shortly after that loud boom, DC's Homeland Security and emergency management put out a tweet saying there is no threat to the District of Columbia. U.S. Capitol Police say they were made aware of the plane flying over the Capitol region, which prompted them to temporarily place the U.S. Capitol grounds on what they're calling elevated alert until the plane left our area. That loud boom that we're talking about flooded social media with people wondering, what was that? It's the boom that was heard across the DMV, waking Rocket from his nap in Fairfax Station. Not far away, the loud noise interrupted Travis and his wife Hannah in Fairfax as they recorded this video. In Prince George's County, Maryland, WUSA 9 chief photographer Kurt Brooks and his family were stunned by the sound as they packed their car in buoy. What was that? What the? What was that? A similar reaction from Hannah Scott and her family in Crofton, Maryland. The sonic boom prompting 911 calls across the region. I want to put them things on closing her 3156 Monroe Street Northeast. This emergency call in D.C. detailing the confusion among district residents flagging down fire rescuers. We have a lot of people flying in the sound, a lot of bystanders saying they don't know where the sound came from. You're probably going to get multiple calls on this. The Associated Press reporting that President Joe Biden was actually golfing at Joint Base Andrews when those fighter jets were authorized to take off. U.S. Secret Service saying that the president's movement was not interrupted by today's incident. I'm live on Capitol Hill. Delia, back to you. Rafael, lots of moving parts today. Thank you so much for putting it all together for us this evening.